Oh yes. Disneyland Resort Main Entrance Plaza, Gateway to Disneyland Park. Before setting out to find the best sandwich in all of Disneyland, some new t-shirts caught our eye at South Seas Traders. I like it. It's so cute. I've not seen this shirt before. Enchanted Tiki Resorts. The One finest two. rooms on the islands. Established 1963. The color of the text and color of the shirt are so similar it makes it somewhat hard to read, but otherwise it's a nice looking piece of Tiki Room apparel. We continued onward to Cafe Orleans, home of my favorite meal at Disneyland, the Monte Cristo sandwich, palm frites and pomegranate lemonade. Mmm. Don't forget the rest of the menu, this is what I'm here for. My favorite appetizer at the Disneyland Resort. You have the palm frites and the Cajun sauce. Now when paired with the pomegranate lemonade, this makes for a delicious combination. We know the rules. No touchy. It's better because it comes with sauce here. I want to get the basket. The basket is so cute. Our server Tyler just informed us that this sauce, although it is a type of Cajun sauce, is actually called remoulade. It is so good. The remoulade multiplied. Mm. All the sauce. But you really do need more. Oh yes. The one, the only, Monte Cristo, ladies and gentlemen. The correct way to eat a Monte Cristo sandwich is you gotta dunk into the jam, real good. Yes, just like that. Alex is using the uh, quitter, quitter method. Okay, not the quitter method. If you're ever in the park and not sure if you feel like dinner or dessert, the Monte Cristo is just the thing. Essentially a beignet stuffed with ham and cheese, it's sweet and savory wrapped into one. So if you have a, a few people in your group, say like three people, and they're all you're all moderately hungry, I would say that one order of Monte Cristo should do it. And I need a lot, I came in here starving, and I still, between the two of us, we're not able to finish it. So definitely for sharing, and Monte Cristo, you can't go wrong. After finishing our lunch at Cafe Orleans, we lingered in New Orleans Square a while before taking a walk around the Mark Twain Riverboat. Let's take a brief look at the storied history of this opening day attraction. The Mark Twain is a stately 5 8 scale stern wheeler that has had a successful 61-year career at Disneyland. The decks were assembled at the Disney Studios at Burbank, while the 105-foot hull was constructed at Todd Shipyards in San Pedro, California, where portions of the sailing ship Columbia were built years later. Because Mark Twain was the first functional paddle wheeler built in the United States in 50 years, the designers at WED, known today as Walt Disney Imagineering, conducted extensive research to ensure it was built just like riverboats in the heyday of steam-powered ships. Mark Twain had her maiden voyage on July 13, 1955, four days before the park officially opened to the public, for a private party celebrating Walt and Lillian Disney's 30th wedding anniversary. Actress Irene Dunn, star of the movie Showboat, christened the Mark Twain with a bottle containing waters from major American rivers across the vessel's bow on that sweltering afternoon, July 17, 1955, alongside radio and television personality Art Linkletter, who was one of the hosts on ABC's coverage of the grand opening of the park. On January 11, 2016, the Mark Twain and other Rivers of America attractions would close temporarily for the construction of a Star Wars-themed land. These attractions are scheduled to reopen in summer 2017. So after grabbing lunch at Cafe Orleans, Alex and I went to go check out the Mark Twain since everything else seems to have a very long line today. It's beautiful, we got some nice pictures. It is a little bit cold out here. You know, it's a little chilly on the chilly side. All in all, a fun day at Cafe Orleans and walking around New Orleans Square and Frontierland. All right, everyone, that's gonna be all for me for this video. If you liked what you saw today, leave a like, 
go ahead and subscribe to my channel and check out some other stuff that I have. I hope to be uploading videos regularly, hopefully within uh, every week or so. If you have any favorite food or drink items in Disneyland, I want to hear about them, so go ahead and let me know in the comment section below, or any other videos you'd like to see on this channel, go ahead and let me know as well. That's going to be all for me here at Disneyland, folks. Hope to see you again really soon. This is Adventures by Jake. Thanks for watching.